Right, so it looks like we have an an actual trailer for Jane Foster coming to Marvel's Avengers. It looks like we have we have a, a trailer. I think it's gonna be similar to what we had with with Spider Man where this is gonna be the uh, this is gonna be the um, outro cutscene uh, or the intro cutscene for when Jane for the start of Jane's hero- uh, heroic quest or heroic uh, event um, we're go- uh, gonna watch it and see what, it, what it's all about uh, and yeah I I uh, I hope it's you know interesting like the last one I want to see what what Jane's going to be all about. I would prefer if this was a deep dive. Uh, but yeah. And hopefully we get a release date. At the end of this. Um, actually I know we've got a <laughs> release date. At the end of this. Because I saw the post on. Um, I saw the post on Instagram. Uh, I didn't watch. The, the, the clip. The trailer. Because I wanted to do a reaction to it. But I already know that there is a release date attach this and I am excited because then I can I can now start planning uh, make my Marvel and I have make my Marvel stuff to talk about at the end of this video so stick around for that but we're gonna watch this trailer Oh, so it is. The gods said the end of ten realms. Ten realms into ice, into darkness. Instead, it was fire and blood. Odinson never returned from Earth, and without his son to protect Asgard from outside influence, the All Father went mad. Mjolnir chose me to take up the mantle, but it was too late. Odin had locked the All-Mother away, and declared those loyal to her as his enemy. And if he had to destroy Asgard to root out rebellion, so be it. I was used to fighting battles. Okay, well that's... why has Thor only got one arm? But this. I mean, it's not Thor. That's one way to do it. <laughs> Avengers, follow me. Okay, so So alternate universe stuff, tachyon anomaly stuff. Uh I'm not too bothered. I'm not too concerned about the story side of Jane because it's going to be a very small minority of what the hero event's actually about. We're probably going to get that as soon as we boot into the game 
and probably a CG thing that's like two minutes of her talking to Thor in the helicarrier. But if that's as little as what we're going to get of conversation between Jane and Thor, um, just saying, like, oh, we've got two, two Mjolnirs now, then that's disappointing. I hope that there's at least a little bit more conversation to do with that. And if it is an alternate universe, how... How... Because... Spidey's hero event had a through line. It was all about Liz Allen. It was all about... Uh, I can't remember the, the guy's actual name, but the Molten Man... Uh, not actual Molten Man, a Molten Man, but the guy who we know of in the comics is Molten Man, uh, and him trying to get out of AIM, and there's Alan trying to get him out of AIM. Um, that's all interesting. I I liked the way that they did that. Um, to kind of kind of have there be this through line going through all of it. Uh, I didn't necessarily like how it was just um, just a regular event outside of that, but I liked the story that it was trying to tell. Um, it looks like this is going to be the same, but I'm I'm interested to see what the story might be now that she is on uh, in our main universe. Uh, I'm interested to see how that, what that means for future characters, and how that would, how that would mean for uh, for future characters. Right, I'm gonna just be brutally honest. It's obvious that this is to coincide with the movie. Obvious, right? And they needed a way for there to be two Mjolnirs. It doesn't even matter about two Thors or Jane Foster being Thor. They needed to be a way for you to have Jane Foster in the game, but also have Thor Odinson in the game as well. And this is the easiest way to do it. You know, the the alternate universe stuff doesn't matter, really. This, what we just watched, doesn't matter. It's not really going to... I'll be very surprised if we get a boss fight at the end of this against uh, against Evil Odin, or if Loki shows up at the end. I'll be very surprised if we get, you know, patch notes to sneak in like, oh yeah, there's a Loki villain sector coming, and you're going to be fighting both alternate Loki and this this universe is Loki as well and it's going to be a culmination of um, of Thor's iconic mission and this event as well I'll be very surprised if that's the case I don't expect it to be uh, but if that is the case then they pull the blinder on all of us um, I'm more interested in seeing the character how the character plays and what the character is. Uh, if a uh, war table releases, I will do a video like this on that. This is this is this is cool. It's cool that the 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 team puts the time and effort into making these, and the actual art throughout them. I mean, they're basically just motion comics, but the art throughout them is nice and. You know, Jane is looking buff, to be fair. Like, Jane, Jane do be looking kind of, do be looking kind of swole though. Like those veins popping and all that. But, and is that fucking purple Hulk that we saw? It's a purple Hulk that we saw. This... This is just a, a weird flash, and uh, that's in that's in Monica's boss. That's friggin' weird. But yeah, that that's that's weird. Who the fuck is running Purple Hulk? 
Oh my god. But yeah. Um I don't have much more to say about about this this uh trailer. If it, 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 it even is a trailer, this motion comic. Uh, I like that they're doing them. More of them, please. I think you can do more stuff like this. If you're not going to be focusing on story content in the main game, I think you can do. You can afford to do more of these. I think more of these for existing characters as well would be would be great because you did one for Black Panther. You did a couple for Black Panther, I think. You did one for Spider-Man and you did one for Jane. I think you can go back and you can tell like the origin of this of this world uh, or, or of the Marvel's Avengers um, Iron Man. You can tell the origin of Captain America, Hulk, Miss Marvel. Uh, Miss Marvel was already in the in the uh, in the game, but you can you can you can you can tell the story of what she was doing in the five years between, um, and you can tell the the origin of this this universe is Thor as well. Like and Hawkeye and Kate, you can do that as well. I think Kate's would probably be interesting. Uh, seeing what this this version of Clint is like, um, but yeah, I'd like to I'd like to see that. But also, uh, Jane's coming on the twenty eighth, which is not far off, uh, about a week. Uh, so I think we were all right. We were all kind of right with having the release date come a week before the character comes. And that that's great. That's fine. It's a few days before the end of the month. So I'm okay with that. But that also means that starting the 28th, uh, as soon as Jane is put into the game, her, her like design, if that's the suit that she's going to have in the game... Uh, then ace you've aced it you've aced it Marvel, Marvel's Avengers that's a great that's a great <laughs> that's a great look for Jane uh, for this being like a spur of the moment only to tie in with the movies thing that you did like you kind of rushed this out kind of uh, to to be like right we were putting all of our time and effort into She-Hulk um, but We'll slip Jane in. We'll slip Jane in before. Why not? And uh, we'll we'll have a, a tie in with the tie with the movie. We'll release we'll release a thing to be like with the trailer. We'll release a thing, and she'll release kind of kind of around the time of the around the time of the movie. Uh, so. You know, Natalie Portman. If you want, we could do one of those videos that what uh, the Jack did, uh, where he where he played Deadpool with played the Deadpool game with Ryan Reynolds and played Uncharted with Tom Holland. You can play Avengers with me. <laughs> this isn't this isn't going to Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman's not watching this. She's not. Uh, but yeah, twenty uh, eighth on Twitch. We're going to be starting a week-long charity event for this hero event, uh, go, uh, moving to, uh, which will tie into the movie event of 2022. Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a charity event over on Twitch, raising money for Mind, a uh, mental health charity organisation. I've said it how many times now, uh, mental health and mental health issues have been been a are a massive uh, personal thing for me. I've dealt with I've dealt with mental health uh, f massively over the last of, over the last couple of years. I think over the last couple of years, a lot of people have, and thankfully we're we're out of the woods. I don't want to say we're out of the woods because people are still getting the the 
disease. There's still a lot of other problems as well. And I feel like if you're if you're one of the people if you're one of those people that watches the news, you're probably one of those people that goes to therapy as well. Uh, so you know, this charity does a lot for does a lot for people struggling with mental health, uh, and it it's just it can be that thing that that stops people from going from that going to that one that one uh, major extreme. So you know, if you can come down, uh, you don't need to donate, but obviously donating is appreciated. I have several tiers, uh, uh, not several tiers, I have several uh, stretch goals, uh, 50 pounds, the main goal is 100, but I know stretch goals are meant to be past the main goal, but 50, if we raise 50, I will do a one-off Boy Eats on the Bomb Hot Sauce, I tried to make a video about it, uh, years ago, and it went horribly wrong. The the audio fucked up. Everything fucked up about that video. I found it in my kitchen in my old house, which was a mistake because the lighting was terrible. Uh, but this time I'll I'll do it live on stream. Uh, so you'll get my you'll get my live reaction, and it may you may watch me die on stream uh, for fifty for fifty pounds raised, hundred pounds raised. This, my lovely hair, my lovely head of hair is going to go red. <laughs> I'm going to dye my hair red. And for, uh, I'd say £200 raised, if we manage to double my initial goal, uh, I will do a cooking with Luke. I'll do a proper cooking with Luke video. Um... So yeah, hopefully we can hopefully we can raise that amount of money. Hopefully we can double it. Uh, but that is that is at a stretch, at a stretch. Uh, I want I want to go I want to go like crazy and say uh, if we manage to raise five hundred, I'll I'll down I'll buy and play Ball and Wonder World as part of the uh, as part of the. Um, <laughs> platform marathon i will buy and play ball and wonder world if we uh if we raise 500 um that's not gonna that's never gonna happen but if it does i i 100 percent will but yeah i will see you guys in the next video i'll see you guys on twitch hopefully you guys Come on over and watch uh, Make My Marvel uh, when when that happens. I hope you guys come on over anyway because the streams are fun and we're playing Ninja Turtles at the moment. Shredder's Revenge, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited for Jane Foster. I said this since they did that kind of the patch notes things. Um, since they did that developer's blog, basically saying she's going to be she's going to be Thor, but better. Uh, I've been, I've been very excited and now we're into it. We're into the week of Jane, the week of getting Jane news. So we're, we've got this today. Hopefully we see some kind of, um, some kind of war table, sometimes some kind of showcase of her powers and abilities tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, get more news about this character and bring more content to the channel because it's been dry recently. It's been dry. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.